some leopard shoes are you clapping for yourself look you and you and mommy match we have leopard on today mama has leopard shoes on are you ready for school mm. <laughs> are you ready for school maddie say good morning everyone maddie no just ignore mom okay oh <laughs> say good morning you ready for school yes yes are you reading a book Ryan loves to read. What book are you reading? God Made Dinosaurs. Why are you so silly over there? Are you tired still? Alright, finish your toast because we got to go look in five minutes, okay? <laughs> Matt, are you ready to go? Alright, you guys. So, I'm now back home from dropping the kids off at school. I didn't feel myself when I dropped the kids off at school, but I'm home. I have maybe about 15, 20 minutes before I had to head out to go to the gym, but I'm gonna do my hair really quickly because I didn't do my hair this morning. I was able to do a little bit of my makeup and then I had to run out and take the kids to school. So I'm gonna do my hair really quickly. I'm not gonna do anything crazy because I feel like a lot of times when I do my hair before I work out, it's pretty much useless because by the time I work out is done, I look a hot mess, but I just want to do it a little bit just because it is looking a little crazy and uneven. There's a bunch of curls everywhere, but I'm going to do my hair really quickly. And then I'm not sure if I'm going to have time to actually make myself breakfast. So I wanted to make oatmeal, but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have time to do that. So I think instead I'll just make myself pretty much what I made Madison this morning for breakfast, which is just an English muffin with some cream cheese and everything bagel seasoning. Um, so yeah, that's probably what I will have. And then after I work out, I do have to run to Walmart. Madison's teacher said that she is out of wipes and also gloves. Um, so I have to pick up some of that after I work out. Um, and then what else do I have to do? I have to come back home and fold a lot of laundry. I have a pile of mine and Robert's laundry to fold and also the kids. And then today Madison has therapy. I feel like every time I do a day in the life or a vlog, it's on the day that Madison has therapy. So I'm not sure if I will vlog any of that, but she does have therapy after school today. So I have to take her to therapy after school. And other than that, I don't really have any other plans. I wanted to go sell some of the kids old um, clothes and toys, but I'm not gonna have time to do that today. I'll probably have to do that tomorrow. I do have a box full of clothes that I'm going to be um, selling. And then I have some toys that I'm also gonna be selling and like books. And then I think I'm gonna donate their little horse. My mom had bought the kids a horse, like a little rocking horse, and they probably should have stopped using it a long time ago because they are way too big for it. But I'm holding on to it just because I really love it. It is so cute. I actually still have, she bought Madison a bumblebee, and that one definitely they can't use anymore um, because it's pretty much for babies. It's one baby can actually sit in. And I still have both of them just because they're so cute and I've been holding on to them. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can donate that as well, just cause our house is getting so cluttered. So I just need to try to declutter the house a little bit. So that is the plans for it today. I don't really have anything fun planned out. I also wanna show you guys some really cool um, cups that I received from a really sweet company. I'm so excited to use them. You guys know I love 
mugs and like water cups. I pretty much collect them. I have so many of them. So I'll show you guys that later in the vlog. But I'm going to go ahead and finish up doing my hair because I feel like talking to you guys right now and trying to do my hair. It's going to take me forever. So I'm going to finish doing my hair and then I will see you guys in a little. All right. So I am now done with my hair. And again, I don't know why I do my hair because it's not going to look like this once I get out of the gym. I'm going to put on a little bit of lipstick. Even though I'm about to eat, it'll probably just come off. But right now, I've been really loving to mix these two lipsticks. I like to mix lipsticks and like lip glosses. And right now, this one is Maybelline in 760 Gone Grage. And then this one is a Milani Matte Darling 74. So I like to mix these up. I do have a little bit of gloss on. But I'm going to put this on and show you guys how it looks together. I usually will line my lips a little bit with a lip liner, but the lip liner I usually use with this combination is downstairs in my um, makeup bag that I have in my purse, but that's how it looks. I really like it. I think it looks really pretty. Usually I wouldn't have like the gloss on, so it'll be a little more matte, but I think it still looks cute. So now I'm going to go downstairs and make myself some breakfast really quickly and then head out to the gym and then I'll go to Walmart. Maybe if they have a lot of spring stuff out, maybe I'll film like a spring shop with me and I'll include like a few clips here in this vlog. So we'll see what we get into, but let's go downstairs and make some breakfast because what time is it? It's 8.50 and I have to leave at nine, so I have 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go downstairs and really quickly make my breakfast. So this is what I'm having for breakfast today. It's a really quick breakfast because I have to leave. So it is just this Dave's um, Killer Bread, the organic English muffins. And I tried their bread as well, it's pretty good. I usually just get Ezekiel bread, but the Dave's um, brand is pretty good as well if you don't like the Ezekiel bread. And then I just topped it off with this cream cheese. This is a, Green Valley lactose-free cream cheese. If you guys are lactose, can't have too much dairy, definitely try this out. I'm lactose, can't have too much dairy. So I tried this out. It's pretty good, I'm almost done with it. Madison likes it as well. This is what I put on Madison's English muffin as well this morning. And then I just topped it off with the everything but bagel sesame seasoning from Trader Joe's. And that is what I'm gonna scarf down really quickly and head to the gym and then I'll see you guys in a little. All right guys, these signs are really cute. They have a welcome one, an egg hunt one, and then they have this one that also says welcome. And I really like these eggs. I think these eggs would look cute like on your front door. How much are these? I don't see a price on there, but those are really cute. And then I also really like that happy Easter one. So they have a few signs for the front door. It says $24. I'm not sure if everything here is $24, maybe but Here those are a few decor items for your house. This is really cute, this is $9.98. They also have this Grow Attitude sign. They have a lot of like sunflower themed stuff. If you guys like sunflowers, they have a ton to choose from. I really like this sign, it says Be Kind, that's $12.98. So cute, this one says Hello Easter. And they have this bigger one for $15.88. And then Oh Sweet Spring for $5.44. I like all these signs. I need to get some new decor for spring this year. I think I bought one of these last year for my kitchen. I'll just double check. I think I got it in white and I usually put like jelly beans or something in there. This is really cute. Easter blessings. You have a lot of really cute stuff for really great prices. These are only $2.98. I think that's a good deal. And then every bunny, welcome. It's only $6. I think that's another great deal as well. Your dinner. You gotta hurry up and go to bed. What's this? You're feeding yourself? Good job. Oh no, you lost your fork. Where'd it go? Don't play with the hot dogs. Oh my gosh. She takes forever to eat. And you have two carrots left. Mm. What are you doing? Maddie. Madison. Where's brother? So I have sucked at vlogging today. It is already six o'clock. I just got home from taking Madison to therapy but I've just been a go, go, go all day. After my last clip, which I think was me in the bathroom getting ready, mm -hmm. I went to the gym, I worked out, then I ran some errands, I went to Walmart and also Dollar Tree. I'm not gonna show you guys what I got from Dollar Tree because I am gonna be filming a birthday like haul for Ryan's birthday, so I'll show you guys everything I got in that haul. I don't know when I'm gonna film it just because I'm not done shopping, but I did film a spring shop with me at Walmart and Target. I think the Walmart one might be up before this vlog and then the 
Dollar Tree one will be up after this vlog. Just make sure your notification bell is on so you don't miss out on those two um, videos because I did find a lot of really cute things. And I did one of them vlog style and the other one, I'm just gonna do a voiceover, but I did film those two videos. What else did I do today? I cleaned up my bedroom because it was like destroyed from this morning when I was in a rush. I threw like my clothes everywhere because I was trying to figure out what to wear to the gym because all my yoga pants, I feel like they were either too tight, I couldn't breathe in them, or I just didn't like how they looked on me. So the house was just destroyed. So I cleaned up my room, I folded laundry, I unloaded the dishwasher. Yeah. And yeah, I picked up the kids from school. So that's what I've done all day. So sorry that I didn't get many clips. I'll show you guys the new mascara I got. I did get a new mascara from Walmart. Because by Maybelline, it's a new mascara that I guess they just came out with. And I read the reviews and all the reviews seem to be really good. So we'll see how it works. I like to try new um, mascaras. So hopefully I like this one because like I said, the reviews are really good. What else did I get from Walmart? I didn't really get anything too exciting. I got mascara, I got some bath bombs. I got Madison some wipes and what else? I bought stuff for Ryan's birthday party as well. I didn't buy anything too exciting, but anyways, I'm going to have Madison hurry up and finish her dinner. And then I'm gonna give the kids a bath and get them ready for bed. And then I think that'll be it. I'll probably vlog again tomorrow just so I can combine it. Cause I didn't get to show you guys the cups I want to show you guys. Um, So I'll show you guys that tomorrow. So I'm gonna get this little girl to hurry up and finish her dinner and then I will maybe film myself putting the kids to bed. I'm not sure. So I'll just see you guys in a little bit or I'll just pick this up. Tomorrow. All right, guys. So it is a few days later and I suck at vlogging. First off, I want to apologize about this lighting. I'm trying to use natural lighting, but the sun is just messing up with my filming. I've tried to film this like four times already and the sun just keeps on coming in and out. So I've given up. I'm just going to have to roll with it. But I suck at vlogging. This is why I will never become a daily vlogger because I would never be able to keep up. I think the last clip was me at the dinner table two days ago with Madison and then that's it. I never finished vlogging and again that day I really didn't get much footage so this vlog is just going to turn into a very chit chatty style vlog um so I apologize it's not going to be super exciting but honestly a lot of times I don't go out and see things I don't always go to the park or go to the mall or do really fun things go to like um events and stuff so sometimes it's going to be more of like a chit chat vlog so i hope you guys don't mind but did want to show you guys a very very small mini haul from um walmart it's literally like five things but i right now i am just like really obsessed with the whole cheetah and leopard print so i got three things of those prints and the first thing is going to be this hat from time and true also i've really been into hats i was never really that into like baseball caps i would wear them here and there but these past few months i've been really hooked on them so i found this this is time and true and it was 7.97 i just thought it was so cute so it's one size fits all but you can adjust it in the back and i just thought that was really cute and i can wear this to work out like my other ones or just on a day where i just don't feel like doing my hair but i want it to look cute i can wear it this so i grabbed this hat and then I also bought this sweater, which was on clearance, and this was $7. It was originally $13, and it's the No Boundaries brand, and it's really soft and cozy. So it just looks like this. It has a little hood right here with a drawstring in the front, and then that's how it looks. It does have, like, the kangaroo pockets in the front, and then on the arm, it has um, two black stripes, and then also... In the bottom it has this where you can kind of cinch it in so you can either wear it loose um where it's like flowy or you can make it tight around your waist so i thought that was really nice so for seven dollars i decided to go ahead and grab it because it's still really cold here in georgia and then the thing that i am most excited about is these shoes i've been eyeballing them for a really long time and i decided just to go ahead and grab them they were only 18 dollars, and they do have a memory foam in it now i'm gonna try to find a picture of the adidas ones but there is a um, pair of shoes that look exactly like this but they are adidas and obviously much more expensive so i decided to grab these just because i don't feel like buying the adidas ones right now so i'm obsessed with them and they are black and gray so i feel like they are going to match with a lot and they are so cute you guys and again these do have memory foam in it I'm sorry about this lighting um these, these do have a memory foam in it, so it's super, super soft and comfortable. I feel like all of Walmart shoes now are starting to have memory foam. Literally all the shoes I ever try on, even their sandals have memory foam, which I really like because it makes it more comfortable. So 
for $18. I think it was $18.96. $18.96, I think that's a really great deal. Again, I'm gonna try to find the picture of um, the Adidas ones and pop it in right next to me so I, you guys can see like a comparison and see how similar they look, but you need to run out to your um, Walmart and check out these shoes. They also have the leopard ones, which I showed you guys in my try on haul. They still have them on clearance for $5, but it's just like the traditional color um, leopard shoes. But I also got this honey starter kit. So I ran out of my face cream and I was going to buy the big jar of this brand of face cream, but I decided to try out the starter set first just to see if I like it. And if I like it, I will get the larger one. So this one comes with a calming, moisturizing, soothing cream. It comes with a Manuka day gel cream, a Manuka night cream, and then also a royal jelly eye cream. And I did quickly while I was in the store, just look up reviews and I saw a lot of good reviews on it. So hopefully this um, will work good. And it was $9.99 for this pack. So I thought that was a really great deal. Oh, I also got this mascara that I already opened because I want to try it out. It is this Maybelline New York, the Falsies Lash Lift. I'm not too crazy about it. I got it in the color Blackest Black, but I don't feel like it really does anything special. And again, I did look at the reviews on this and all the reviews were really, really good. But honestly, it's not worth the hype that everyone's giving it online. It works okay. It's not the worst mascara I've ever used, but it's also not the best. But whatever, I grabbed this and I think this was $8. I also grabbed these bath bombs. I don't usually always take baths, but recently my muscles have been hurting. So I just grabbed some bath bombs and this comes with a strawberry and a plum one. I just needed a new beauty blender and I don't wanna get the real beauty blender that's super expensive. And I just really like the Real Techniques ones. It's super affordable and it works really well. So I grabbed that. Then I also grabbed this Acne Proofing Daily Scrub. I just needed a new face wash. I've never tried this one. so. We're gonna test that out. Then I just grabbed some foundation. So I have used the Wet n Wild foundation before and I like how it works, but this one is new. This is a dewy one. The one that I have is not a dewy one. So we're gonna see how this works. And mine is in the color medium tan. I'm so bad at matching myself, but all the other colors either look like they were too light, too dark, or like too um, tanny, like orangey. So this one looks like it would match me the best. So I grabbed that one. I also grabbed some more of my Biore deep cleansing pore strips. These are a holy grail. These help with all my pores on my nose. I wear a lot of makeup and now I work out a lot and I sweat. I feel like it's even worse. So these are a lifesaver. I also grabbed some hard as nails extreme wear um, nail polish. I just bought some kiss nails and I just bought the plain ones that you have to paint and I thought I would paint them this color. This is called day cream. It's just like a really light pink color. And then the last three things I got is jewelry and it's from the Time and True brand. Oh no, the earring came off. Oh no, here it is. All right, the earring fell off of it. I thought I lost it, but I needed some new hoop earrings. I actually need to get like real gold earrings. So I don't have to keep on buying these cheap ones, but these are only 288 and they are gold. And I just thought that design was really cute for 288. And then I found these gold ones. Oh no, my light. Okay. And then I found these gold ones that were also 288 and I just like the design on that one as well. And then I found these, which are silver with some little diamonds on it. And these were also 288, so I grabbed that as well. And that is the last thing that I grabbed. So I'm gonna go get the kids dinner. I just made some pizza, so I'm gonna cut it up for them. It's cooling off and they're gonna eat dinner. And then I'm gonna show you guys, um, this is gonna turn into like a haul as well of me just showing you guys things, but I'm gonna show you guys a few gifts that I got Ryan for his birthday. I'm gonna be filming a birthday party haul. You guys wanted me to, so I'm gonna be doing that, but I'm not gonna share like the gifts I got him. Um, his main gift is, I don't wanna say it right now because he's downstairs, I don't know if he's listening, but he does have a main gift that he doesn't know about, um, but I still want to get him like smaller gifts just so he can have something to open for his birthday. So I'll show you guys that, and then I'll also show you guys some really cool cups that I was supposed to show you guys two days ago on the vlog, and I never got around to doing it. So. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I don't know if I'll vlog anymore today or if I'll vlog another day and include it. I'll have to go back and see um, how much footage I have and see how long this vlog is because I don't want it to be like a 30 minute vlog of me just talking to you guys and showing you guys stuff. So I'm gonna go feed the kids really quickly and then I will show you guys 
Ryan's birthday gifts and also those cups. So I'm now in my guest bedroom, which is where I'm hiding all of Ryan's gifts. So I put them all in the guest closet. But I want to show you guys a few things that I did grab for him. Like I said, his main gift is going to be us taking him to go see Jurassic Park live. Um, we bought tickets, so we're going to be staying at a hotel. I think it's in Greenville. Um, North Carolina or South Carolina I always get them confused but I know it's in Greenville and we're gonna go spend the weekend out there and take him to see it he's gonna be super excited he doesn't know yet what I'm gonna do is print out um the tickets and put it in like a little gift box and then have him open it and see that we're gonna take him there I did want him to open other gifts so I'm whispering because he is um watching tv out in the living room but the first thing i got him was this lap tray i got this from hobby lobby and this was 6.99 he loves to draw and sometimes he likes to draw like on his bed or on the sofa or even on the floor and it's hard for him because he's doing it on his lap so i figured this would help him out so he has this area to draw and then he can put all of like his art stuff on the side so i grabbed him that and then I found this at Dollar Tree and I thought it looked interesting. It's called Zoops. I've never heard of it before, but for a dollar, I thought I would try that out and see if he likes it. If not, I'm sure Madison would just play with it, but that looked really cool. And for a dollar, I just grabbed that. I also got him this from Target. It was on clearance for $2.38, originally $8, and it's called Springlings. I've never bought him this before, but he loves the stuffed animals. So I know he's going to like this, but I'm guessing... I don't know you twist it and it springs out i'm not sure but it's a green little stuffed animal in there so grabbed him that as well i also got him this baby shark i'm not going to squeeze it because it's going to start singing loudly and then he's going to hear but if you squeeze it it does sing the baby shark song i'm probably going to regret buying him this but my kids like baby sharks so i grabbed that and this was on clearance for $3.98 I also got him this stuffed animals. As you guys can see, he really loves stuffed animals. This also talks when you squeeze it, but I'm not gonna squeeze it because I want Ryan to hear it. But he loves The Lion King. We saw it in theaters. So I grabbed him this, and this was also on clearance for $2.98. Open the door. All right, Ryan just knocked on the door, so I'm really gonna have to whisper because I don't know if he's standing out there. But he also really likes these untamed little toys. So I grabbed this one. It's a saber tooth toy. It does 40 sounds and this was on clearance for $4.48. So grab that. I got this from Target as well. And then I found this at Walmart, I believe. Yeah. And this was originally $13 and I got it on clearance for $3.50. He's very into like science stuff. So I thought this would be really fun to do. It's a glowing crystal. So I don't know. You can do some type of experiment inside the rock and then it has like a black light and it's supposed to glow or light up not exactly sure but i thought this would be fun for him to do and the last thing i got him which i am super excited to give to him is this watch so ever since me and my husband got our apple watches he's been asking for a cool watch that's what he calls them we're obviously not going to get my six almost seven year old a apple watch so i found this at walmart this was, I'm not sure exactly how much this is. I think it was like around $25, but this is a touchscreen um, watch and it's black and has a bunch of dinosaurs. He loves dinosaurs, so I know he's gonna love it. He can play games on here, he can take pictures, set an alarm. So and I think it also tracks his steps as well. So yeah, and he can play games on here as well. So I thought he would really like that. So that is his last gift that he'll be receiving for his birthday. I'm so excited this year since we are um taking him to see Jurassic World um that's his main gift we are just doing something really small at the house I hope you guys can hear me because I'm whispering but um we decided to do something small at the house instead of doing like a huge birthday party like we always do so I told him he can invite three friends and we can have like a pizza popcorn movie night um sleepover so three of his friends are going to be staying the night I'm gonna order some pizza and get like a bunch of like snacks and goodies for them watch a movie I bought a bunch of games for them to play and a few like um arts and crafts stuff that they can do so we'll be having a lot of fun over the weekend we're not gonna do it this weekend we're gonna do it next weekend because his birthday falls on a sunday so i'm gonna do it the day before on a saturday so super excited about that but enough of my rambling i want to show you guys these cups that i got from this company i don't want to butcher the name so i'm just going to show you guys 
but I just received these cups a few days ago. I haven't used them yet, but I'm so excited to try them out. If you guys have been following for a while, then you know I am obsessed with cups. I collect water cups because I just love drinking out of water cups. It makes me want to drink more. So I have a ton of them. So I was able to pick two different colors and it was really hard because they had a lot of really pretty colors. So the first one I chose was this one and it's like a purpley pink color and it's so pretty. It's kind of like a, um, I would almost like an Easter pastel color but I love it and it says the name in the front in silver. What I really like about these cups though is that it clicks close. So a lot of the cups I have, cause I do have a few of these where it keeps your drinks cold or warm, but they don't have this little click where you can close it. So it prevents it from like leaking. Say you knock it over, which Madison has knocked it over a million times, my other ones, and it has spilled. So I really like that it clicks right here. So, you know, no spills. I also really love that they sent me a straw, matching straw, and also it is metal. It's not like plastic. So they sent me metal. They also sent me um, the little cleaning, yeah, it's in here. This little cleaning wand. I didn't know they were gonna send it to me, but that's really cool. You can clean inside the straw with this, this little brush, but I'm gonna show you guys how it looks. I can get it out, let me see. But this is the straw that it came with, and then you just put the little silicone topper on top like that, and you can put it in your cup, and it looks just like that. I think that is so cool. It matches the cup. So I'll show you guys the other one. This is the other one that I got. I think this one is a marble one I might have chosen. Yeah, I got this one, and same thing. It comes with the straw as well. So let me take the straw out for you guys. And this one has the white top to match with the cup, which I think is so cute. I just started recently buying like straws like this, but I don't have many. So I really like that they sent me one specifically for the cup. How pretty is this one? This one is a white and like gray marble and I am obsessed. And again, it does have the top lid where you can click it close. You just put the straw in there. So obviously if I have something hot in here, I wouldn't use the straw. But if I have something cold in here, then I will use it right now. It's still pretty cold in Georgia, like I've mentioned a million times. So I'll probably be putting a lot of like warm stuff in here. But since spring and summer is right around the corner, I'll definitely be using this for cold like water, lemon water or anything that I'm drinking. And then I'll have the straw, which I think is really cute. So just want to show you guys that really quickly. They did send me this, like I said, two days ago, but I'm just getting around to sharing it with you guys. So these cups will keep your drinks warm. You put something warm in here like tea or coffee up to seven hours and we put something cold in here. It'll keep it cold for up to 12 hours. So I really like that. It'll keep your drink nice and cool or nice and warm for a really long time as a busy mom. There's so many times where I have to keep on rewarming up my coffee or my tea. I'm pretty sure I have to warm up my coffee like at least three times throughout the day just because I don't have time to sit down and drink it all in one sitting. So I like that I can just put it in this cup and it'll stay nice and warm for seven hours. So I don't have to keep on rewarming it. So if you guys are busy like me and you guys don't get to drink your coffee or tea in one sitting and you have to keep on warming it up. This is a great option to keep it nice and warm, but also I like that it will keep your drinks nice and cool as well. So I'm gonna leave these exact two cups that I received down below as well as their website and also their social media so you guys can go ahead and check them out. Like I said, they are amazing cups. I haven't technically used it yet, but the quality feels really good on them. Like I mentioned before, I also really love that it came with the straw because all the other cups that I have like this that I've purchased on my own, there was no matching straw to it. So I really like that it came with that straw as well, as well as the little um, brush to clean it. So like I mentioned, everything will be linked down below for you guys to check them out. So you guys can go ahead and grab some cups for yourself and get ready for spring and summer because spring and summer is right around the corner and you're going to need one of these on the go to keep your drinks nice and cool. But anyways, guys, I am going to go ahead and start getting the kids ready for bed. What time is it? It's almost seven o'clock. Their bedtime is um, 7.30, but I usually start getting them to start getting ready for bed like around 7 15 so they don't have much longer so i think 
that's gonna end the vlog for today like I said I'm gonna see how much footage I have if I don't have enough then maybe I will vlog tomorrow which is Saturday depending on what we're gonna do if not then this might be the ending because like I said a lot of this vlog is just me talking and sharing things with you I hope you guys don't mind that this vlog was more of like a chit chat style vlog um like I said, my life isn't always super exciting where I am doing all this fun stuff. Sometimes my vlogs are just going to be like this and I'm going to keep it real. I don't want to just only vlog when I'm, you know, on vacation or at the park or doing something fun. I want to vlog also on these days as well. So like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed it and you guys weren't too bored. Well, just in case this vlog is already super lengthy and I don't vlog tomorrow, I just want to quickly close it out and say thank you so much for watching today's vlog. I love you guys. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. You guys support me and show me so much love and I'm super grateful for you guys. So if you're not already a part of my YouTube family, consider subscribing. I would love for you to join. Thanks so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next upload. Bye.